Omega Bodies E Squared Enlightenment Exercise System has been in development um, quite a few years. It's the sum total of my life's experience, both working with professional fighters and different world-class athletes and world leaders, all kind of different walks of life. Does your shadow match your shape? Are you who you say you are? Hi, my name is Bert Galvez, and five years ago now, I was diagnosed with cancer, and, uh, and I beat it. I'm here, and um, through that, uh, my diet changed, my outlook on life changed, my exercise regimens changed, um, seeking just more meditation, and um, I felt like there was a piece missing, and you know, I heard about this name, Daryl Foster, just the name and who he was involved with, with you know, movie stars, politicians, just the most affluent, powerful people in the world. And I hear about this opportunity to be able to part, be part of something that he's putting together. And I felt like this is, this is that missing link. This is the opportunity that I'm looking for to get to that next level. Uh, the system originally was developed to create adverse conditions for world-class athletes that had to win world titles. It was the anatomy that was uh, the original approach to create environmental conditions that would engage the human body in, into the fight or flight. You need to be on that treadmill in the morning training your intellect so that you're sharp, so that you're in touch with the universe, so that you're getting enough of God's breath or the universal breath, so that your intellect and your synapse and the neurons in your brain are firing on all cylinders and possibly touching that intuitive space. I have a set of basic operating data that will invoke elevation for you if you walk with me. I will show you by example. I would recommend it to anyone who uh who is interested in a retreat, who really wants to take that, that, that few days out of real, their reality and come into themselves and allow for um, a mental space that, that produces and is conducive to reflection and also to some degree of physical challenge. You don't want to get your tip, get your last tip. Good job. What's the count? What's the count? One more. Uh-uh, girl, let's go down. Yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go. The count is 25. If you push and push and push and never give up, that I'll do it with you. In the beginning, and by the time we get through with our 10th set. Let's just kidding. Welcome everybody to day two of our E squared enlightenment and exercise Socratic seminar. I've had uh, several two poems passed out and I need a volunteer reader. The book stops with me. Just really put me and I'm sure everyone else in check about all their excuses, their upbringing and their limitations and why, you know, they haven't done what they wanted to do or why you know, their life is a certain way. Well, not the case. He told us some really deep stuff about his life that, you know, a lot of people wouldn't be able to overcome. And yet he has, he's done that and more. Back to the text. Uh, how's everybody feeling? Do we get more listening in today? Slow your pace down a little. Daryl invited me to come work out with him. If anybody doesn't know, they really work out, you know, they, they it's very serious, it's, 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 a, it's a group, it's a team effort, and it's something I've never seen in my life. I really was open-minded to whatever Daryl's philosophy was going to be. I worked out for a few years and I was getting to kind of a stagnant point and I needed something to bump it up again. And I really like the idea of learning while you're working out and opening, you know, oxygenating your brain and focusing somewhere besides on your body or the time. And I think that really pulled it through for me. You know, part of this program, we want to purify our systems, get rid of the neurotoxins in the brain, and as well as doing the cleanse to get rid of the toxins uh, in the body. But it's 
also the brain and the intellect that need to be cleared out from previous circumstances. You know, this is a new reality. We all have the capability of going out there and running or exercising or reading a book or a self-help book, but he gave us the, the knowledge and then told us, I'm going to push you. My ultimate um, revelation is that the buck stops with me. It is our responsibility to go out and touch as many lives, one body at a time, built on discipline, integrity, and excellence until we've touched every individual in the world.